Mini split is a great heating and cooling system, but there are so many different types and different kind of mini split on the market. So how do you choose the right one for your home? I'm you. Welcome to Aircon Lounge. Today we are going to talk about how to select mini split. The first step to select the right mini split for your home is to calculate how much capacity you need for the mini split. For large air conditioning application, we need to use engineering calculation to calculate the capacity, or sometimes we use software. For small applications such as a mini split, we can use the rule of thumb. The rule of thumb method is basically using the floor area of a room multiplied by a value to get the capacity in terms of BTU per hour. The rule of thumb method has been practiced by many engineers, including myself. Even the Energy Star also lists out the step-by-step -step process of using this rule of thumb method to calculate the capacity for room air conditioner. Other than that, manufacturers also publish the coverage area of their mini split based on different cooling capacity. Generally, mini split is sized between 20 to 30 BTU per hour per square feet. And mini split should be sized room by room. That means we don't calculate the entire floor area of a house to a size mini split. Instead, we size based on one room at a time. Once you have the mini split size, we can proceed to step two, which is to choose a system between single zone or multi zone. Generally, single zone mini split is more efficient than multi zone mini split in terms of the operation and maintenance. Single zone mini split is more reliable than multi zone mini split. This is because multi zone mini split have connected refrigerant pipes. They are connected at the outdoor unit. So, whenever there is a refrigerant leak, the entire system will stop working. However, the best thing about multi zone mini split is they save a lot of space. For example, if your application is in the apartment, apartment usually don't have much space, so a multi zone mini split is the perfect choice. Another use case for multi-zone mini split is when you have aesthetic reasons, right? You don't want a lot of outdoor unit to be hanging around your house. So a multi-zone mini split will solve that problem. So if you have more budget, you want a neater installation, you go for the multi-zone. If you want simple, cost-effective and efficient unit, you go for the single-zone mini split. After the single-zone and multi-zone system of the mini split, you need to decide where to put your mini split and you must realize there's a lot of different types of mini split air handler. That means the indoor unit, there's different different types. And you must also consider how you want to run the mini split. So these three elements combine together, then you can decide which model you want to buy. The first type of mini split is the most common type, which is the wall mounted unit. This one unit behind me is a wall mounted type or people call it Douglas type. Right. So this type of mini split, they don't need to use ducting and they are out of all the different type of mini split, this type of mini split is the most efficient and the cheapest. And also because it is very simple, the maintenance and operation also very easy. The downside of wall mounted mini split is they need to be installed up high on the wall. Besides, if you are installing this wall mounted unit at the center of your house, meaning you are mounting the unit at the interior wall, not the exterior wall, you need to find a way to run the pipe. Usually this kind of unit is installed at the center of the room. Thus, when you run the pipe, you will have a long stretch of pipe on your wall, unless you're willing to dig up the hole and conceal the pipe inside your wall. Else, you can install the unit near to the side of the wall and minimize the long stretch of pipe. But this will somehow affect the airflow lah, because when your room is this long, you install at one corner, then the air distribution is not that good. The second type of mini split is the ceiling cassette mini split. The price of ceiling cassette mini split can be double of a similar wall mounted mini split. They are usually installed at the center of the room and they have four way air distribution. The good thing about ceiling cassette mini split is they are concealed above the ceiling. And at the same time, it is also one of the bad things about ceiling cassette mini split. Their installation is quite difficult. In terms of efficiency, ceiling cassette unit is not as efficient as the wall model unit. Additionally, you need to open a main hole beside the ceiling cassette unit 
in order for future you want to access to the service port above the ceiling. However, for normal cleaning and maintenance, the front panel of the ceiling cassette mini split can be opened to do some normal cleaning and filter cleaning. Lah. The third type of mini split is actually the ducted mini split. They call it the ceiling ducted or slim duct or ceiling conceal unit. As the name suggests, it needs duct for air distribution. The ceiling ducted mini split is a good type of mini split if you are planning to cool two or three rooms using one mini split. The smallest capacity of a mini split is a 6000 BTU mini split. Sometimes a room may not need as much as 6000. So a ducted mini split can share out the capacity and solve this overcooling issue. In terms of the price, efficiency and maintenance, ducted mini split actually are similar to a ceiling cassette. The efficiency is less than the ceiling cassette and maintenance also probably harder than the ceiling cassette. If your house need additional duct work just for the ducted mini split, the installation cost will be so much more than other type of mini split. However, ducted mini split not necessarily must have a duct work. You can just simply attach a grill on the mouth of the ducted unit, that means the supply discharge section on the mini split and let it blow directly out of the unit. Additionally, you can install a short piece of duct with a grill in front to blow out air sort of directly as well. In fact, many hotels use this method to cool their hotel room. It looks very clean and elegant. The last type of mini split is the floor mounted type. It is very similar to wall mounted type but it's very expensive because floor mounted type usually offer in the premium sector of the mini split. So floor mounted mini split is usually very expensive, but they are very efficient. And their maintenance, you can say is on par with a wall mounted unit or even easier because you don't need a ladder. So all these different different type of mini split, they share the same outdoor unit, meaning they share the same type of outdoor unit. The small one, you have a single fan, the big one, perhaps you have dual fan. So this type of mini split and the outdoor unit, they all need space clearance. So by knowing the pros and cons of this different type of mini split and understanding where to put them and also how to run the pipes, you can choose the mini split you want. After knowing the capacity and the system and also choosing the type of mini split you want, you can start to do the selection process. So the first thing to select a mini split is the brand. So when it comes to mini split brand, the Japanese brand are the best. Some of the well-known mini split Japanese brand is the Mitsubishi, Daikin, Fujitsu, and even the not so well-known Panasonic. Other brands such as LG and also the Chinese brand Gree, and some of the brand you can find on Amazon and other e-commerce stores such as the Pioneer, and uh, Mr. Cool, which is famous for their DIY, also something that I would recommend. Still, after the brand, the type, and the system, there's still a lot of different, different models you can select from a single manufacturer. So I would suggest you split them up into four categories. The first one is the entry level. Entry level mini split is the cheapest and also the least efficient. Usually they are cost about 800 to 1000 US dollar and their efficiency is around 16 to 17 CR rating. Then for the standard mini split, usually they cost around 1000 or 1300 US dollar. Then their efficiency is usually around 20 CR rating. Then you comes to the high efficiency model. This model is really quite expensive. It's around 1008 US dollar or some is 1006. But then their efficiency is usually 24 or even 26 CR rating. At the same time, this category also we have this, we call it the cold climate mini split, which is very suitable for people who live in a very, very cold place. This type of mini split, they can do very well in heating in cold climate. The last category of this mini split model is the premium mini split. They are the best mini split a manufacturer can produce. Usually it's somewhere around 2000 US dollar or and above. They have all of the feature a mini split can offer you and they have the highest efficiency, sometimes 28 to 30 CR rating. All these different category of mini split, they have different feature, but most 
of the feature that we will use on a daily basis are quite typical. For example, the quiet mode and the fan speed setting, timer, turbo mode, echo mode. They all use different different marketing term, but they are referring to the same function. So don't so worry about that. But one thing I will uh, bring up is the mobile Wi-Fi uh, compatibility. Sometimes if you want remote control, you need to look for the Wi-Fi uh, compatibility unit. In terms of uh, mini split warranty, they are very typical. Five year for compressor, one to two year for parts. As for labor, it depends on your installer or your contractor. Some mini split manufacturer partner with their authorized dealer, so they provide extended labor warranty. For example, Daikin provided ten year warranty. So this might change from time to time, uh, depending on the manufacturer. Sometimes, if you want to save cost, you can install a mini split yourself. But must remember to check whether the warranty covers that or not, because a lot of unauthorized installation by unauthorized people or non-professional people, the warranty can be voided. Last thing to check is the installation kit. If you buy a mini split from online store, they typically come with installation kit, either uh, 10 plus feet or 25 feet. And this uh, installation set, sometimes they come with bracket, some is there's no bracket. So this, when you buy a new mini split, this comes into additional cost. So from sizing to system selection, type of mini split, the model, the feature, the brand, and installation kit, warranty, and other things, everything comes into a conclusion whether which type of mini split, which model uh, is suitable for you, you have to decide, right? So my key takeaway is wall mounted mini split is the most efficient and cheapest solution. Depending on your budget, I would suggest you either go for the standard model or the high efficiency model. For brand wise, I would suggest the Japanese. The Japanese is slightly more expensive, but their quality is assured. And if you want to learn more about mini split, go to my website. I have tons of articles on mini split. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel. I have more mini split content coming up. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.